This is Ozark's Fox AM. <laughs> welcome, welcome to Ozark's Fox AM. I'm Jeremy Ray. And I'm Kelly Smith. Thank you for joining us on this beautiful Tuesday. Yes. Sorry, we were chatting because, okay, <laughs> Kelly not heard of this. I haven't. It's all over my news feed on Facebook and Instagram. Mm -hmm. It's called the Feeling Cute Challenge. And so basically people are mm -hmm. posting photos. Let's say, for example, it's the water man who's coming to read your water meter. Okay. Like I just saw one that said, okay. feeling cute, might turn your water off later. IDK, which means I don't know. I don't know. Yes. And then before the show, I'm trying to do one of me and Kelly, <laughs> and I can't, it's drama. Do we know where this originated? Do we have any? I actually where found this out from Lauren Barnes, okay. who is social media guru. Yes. Uh, she told me it all hails from Instagram with girls, you know, who love to post selfies themselves. Right. She said that girls would post selfies, look at it, maybe get a little duck lip. Oh, okay. You know, the duck mm -hmm. lip, and go, feeling cute, I might delete later. I DK. <laughs> I. Is this what we've come to in the world? I'm serious. I, I agree with you. Hey. Might take a nap. Probably will. <laughs> we might do a show today. We, IDK. I don't know. We uh, might just sit here. Yeah, we might uh, have some breakfast. Probably so not. I'm going to yeah. figure out how to make one for me and Kel. Okay. We're going to post it. And then in the comments, we want your I, oh, feeling cute. Okay, memes. so like feeling cute, that's how you start it? Yeah, feeling, feeling cute. cute. And you might do something. Yes. I don't know. You like for not. our viewers, okay. a great one okay. would be feeling cute. Might watch Ozark's Fox AM today. IDK. <gasps> but I hope they do. But I hope they do. <laughs> I'm just oh, saying that would be a okay. great one. Okay, well, I, this is the first I'm hearing of this. Yeah, I brought it up because yeah. I was on socialist media. It was just everywhere. Why does it have to be feeling cute? It might be like, um, feeling tired. <laughs> <laughs> or feeling hungry. Or feeling like shopping. Or why does it have to be feeling cute? Because I think these girls on Insta. All think they're cute. All think they're feeling cute. Okay, well. All we think go. they're feeling cute. <laughs> I, I tell you, I never in my life, Kel, yeah. have ever, ever in a post put, feeling cute. Ever. You know what? If I see a shirt that says anything like that, I won't wear it. Feeling cute, looking good. No, <laughs> no way. way. Will not do it. <laughs> Can you imagine? I mean. How many times have we talked about we hate those celebrities who are so, like, egocentric and I, so full of themselves? I mean, I think somebody posted something the other day. I couldn't believe it. It was so over the top. I'm like. What has happened to our culture? I mean, seriously. I think a lot of our viewers probably agree with that statement, Kel. I think so, too. Like, well, I don't know if we have much time. I'm going to switch gears just for a second. Okay, if we yeah. have just a minute. I want to show you this. This is not, this is not, okay, here's the front of my yard. Now, I want to show you this. This is not super impressive, but the reason I'm showing you is my flocks are out. This is where I, they can get sun out here. But this is where, Jeremy, I, I planted those bulbs. I was yeah. so excited about mm -hmm. There's about six, about six uh, tulips out there. The rest of them have been eaten by the deer. Yeah. Now, this is out in the front of my yard. I, how are we going to keep the deer out? Because I'm getting ready to redo this whole thing and put one on the other side for next year. I, I couldn't believe it. And they skim it right off just straight across the top. It looks like somebody took scissors to it. Yes, it does. Yep, that has happened to me. When I lived in Hollister, I kind of lived yeah, in an area in there were country. lots of animals. Yeah, oh, yeah. And it would look, I would walk out there, my roses would be gone. They like all the sweet stuff. They like yeah. everything. Are tulips, e tulips are not edible to people, though. I don't think they are. I wouldn't. I don't eat think it. they're an edible flower. No. I would not eat it. But um, anyway, Marigold you can. I'm just gonna have to try to Google how to put something on there that the, the deer don't See, like. See, I remember, and again, I'm not gonna say what I Google because I can't remember. But I remember at the time yeah. having the issue and yeah. Googling it. Yeah. And I wanted to say, take hair off of your brush and put human hair in the area. Really? Don't quote me on that, viewers. If you oh. know more than I have not Googled it in a long okay. time because I don't have that issue now. Okay. My issue is with bunnies sometimes and groundhogs sometimes. Yes, I know. I wish we had a video of you uh, uh, coming in contact with that groundhog. Oh. Did we? It was a cartoon character. I know. I'm saying. That I was five been, feet in the air. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> it was terrible. You know, I planted on Saturday in the cold. Yeah. In the cold because it had to be done. Mm -hmm. I had ordered some very specialty gladiolus. Oh, yeah. So I planted 100 bulbs 100. on Saturday. 100. So in the now, cold. of those, how, what's the percentage that will come up? I'm, I'm hoping all of them. You have a them. pretty good percentage. Mm, okay. I, I think so. Yeah, I mean, okay. we've never had an issue with glads. Those seem to be pretty easy. Hardy, yes. Yeah, on mm -hmm. the scale of growing things, those are kind of easy. Are they? Yeah. Well, then I should get some. But I'm hoping to make an arrangement for the table because I'm making a special clipping garden this year that's oh, just for oh, floral. Like we we're going to yeah. have fresh flowers? 
I'm hoping. Please. Oh, my goodness. That would be amazing. I would if love Mother that. Nature cooperates, Kelly. Please, Mother Nature. Cooperate. I don't know. Might. Might not. I don't know. Hey, you know who's feeling cute? <laughs> Lauren Barnes. She always is. Feeling cute. Give us Lauren, some headlines. I'm feeling cute. Give us I some do headlines. headlines. I don't know. <laughs> No, I will. Okay, well, for you guys. Because it's your job. Uh, yeah, do it. it's my job. I have you ever it. posted yeah. feeling cute, my delete later? I don't know. No, but maybe I've thought that. Like, I think I have deleted a photo later. Oh, really? That's See, that's where it started is girls actually deleted them. They didn't, like, it started, they would post a selfie and then go, like, think about it for too well, long and be like, no. Wait, I, didn't I was like the feeling way I cute. Now I'm not feeling cute, yeah. so I'm going to delete it. Yeah, okay, that's you. why you can't buy the shirts because the feeling <laughs> okay. cute is fleeting. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay, gotcha. uh, this first headline comes from the Boston Marathon, which was yesterday. All of us were here, none of us ran in it, but props to anyone who did. We actually had several runners from the Ozarks, and it wasn't the runners so much that we were focused on, it was this guy on the <gasps> sidelines. Oh. How cute is Spencer? He's a therapy dog, so the last few years has been kind of wet and rainy weather for the Boston Marathon. And so Spencer's owner decided the runners might need a little bit of oh, puppy encouragement. And that's that is what, adorable! That's, that's all that Spencer's doing. He's holding these flags up for them. Just say, keep on going. That's so cute! I know. I might be able to make it if they put a dog at every half a mile. <laughs> Every quarter mile for Every me. Every quarter mile. You need more than one Spencer. Yeah. Oh, totally. Yes. Yeah. 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 What a great idea, though. That's so cute. See, some people are motivated by food. Yeah. Some people are motivated by money. Mm -hmm. Right. I think we're motivated by dogs. I absolutely think so. Yeah. I'm, but how did he get to him to sit because that long and just stay there? That's what I'm wondering. That's a question we need answered for our pups. <laughs> we totally do. Mm -hmm. We totally do, Lauren. Although Jax is crazy. He would sit in the rain, tornado, thunderstorm. He just, he loves being outside. Oh, oh yeah. And he loves the water. So he might he do loves that, the water honestly. Too? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. It's nice to have a dog that. A is okay with the water because if they're outdoors and it's raining, you don't have. To. I used to have a dog that'd look at you. I'm like, oh, I hate this. I'm like, go in the dog house. It's right there. But Blue doesn't mind. Yeah. And Your dogs don't like going outside to pee in the yeah. rain, do they? Uh, no, they hate the rain yeah. and snow. But my cats have taken over the dog house. <laughs> so have. the cats now, when it rains, if, if if I'm not home and it rains, then they'll go into the dog house, and they are so adorable in the dog house. Hey, at least it's getting some. If use. nobody else is using it, there yeah. you go. Okay. Yeah. I'll tell you what would inspire me maybe to run a marathon is a big old baguette. <gasps> you! Oh, okay. Jeremy, this is this is for you. This is your baguette body pillow. Yes. Okay. So this is available on Amazon, and it's exactly what it looks like. It's a huge French baguette pillow, <laughs> and there's actually more than one variety. So this is maybe like the original one. Look at this. There's oh. some that have seeds on them. <laughs> I love oh, it. Oh wow. It's a whole bread family. It's like Panera on your couch. <sighs> And you can buy these on Amazon. They're actually cheaper than I would have expected. So some of the smaller ones start at like seven or eight bucks. That's it? They, yeah, really? and then the big ones, the 31 inch, is $17. That is not bad at but all. But it ships from China, so it might take a year. Mm. Does, Does it, it smell, smell like butter? <gasps> right? I don't know. <laughs> because if it did, it would make me get out of my bed and go into the kitchen and fix something. Would it? Yes. Yeah, you think, I mean, a lot of people are on low carb diets nowadays. You think it would make the craving worse? Yeah, I think so or, too. Yeah, I, I know me, I would wake up from a dream and I'd be gnawing on the pillow. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, oh. And so would your dog. And my dog would say, it looks so juicy and yeah. good and buttery it, and it, flaky. It looks realistic, that's for sure. I'm really? sorry, is there something wrong with me? I don't really want a baguette pillow. <laughs> I don't really want a taco blanket. I don't know. Oh, what's we did wrong talk about me. the tortilla blanket. Yeah, I know. And now a baguette and now pillow. I think the baby looks cute in it, but I don't really need one for myself. I do. You do? <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. that's I good. Some ideas for Jeremy. I just, I. If my parents got that for me for Christmas, I would be so really? happy. Yeah. Really? Well, yeah. I'm, I'm going to put a little bug in your mom's ear okay. then. Okay. Yeah. We'll tell Santa for you. Okay, thanks. <laughs> okay. Elisa Rafa, good morning. Would you like a, ba <laughs> would you like a baguette pillow? <laughs> I think it's just missing a meatball pillow. Oh! Oh, there you go. There you go. That's what we need. <laughs> um, we've got beautiful sunshine in Springfield this morning. It's 56 degrees on southerly winds at 11 miles per hour. Temperatures not nearly as cold this morning as they were yesterday, about 15 to 20 degrees warmer. Remember, yesterday we had some frost advisories in place. Well, this morning we're in the 50s and 60s. It's 53 in Mountain Grove, 61 in Clinton, and 62 in Joplin. Winds are out of the south, sustained at 15 to 20 miles per hour, and gusting up to 30. And that's why we've got these temperatures uh, so warm out there this morning. So as we head through the day, we're looking at some dry roads, green light conditions uh, for those road hazards. Nothing really to worry about there. 
mostly sunny by dismissal, 79 degrees, breezy and warm. A really nice uh, warm spring afternoon. Cardinals play a day game today, 11-10 for that first pitch, mostly sunny and 72 degrees already. We'll have temperatures in the upper 70s by the end of the game. Uh, that will be our high. We only drop to about 60 degrees tonight. Tomorrow, more temperatures in the middle and upper 70s, despite an increase in cloud cover. We'll be dry through the afternoon on Wednesday, so if you need to mow the lawn, uh, do it. We'll have storms arrive on the overnight rain on Thursday, so uh, probably not a good day for yard work and then dry again on Friday with the storms that roll through Wednesday night. We do have a slight risk for severe weather in the yellow, meaning strong to severe storms will be possible. Large hail, damaging winds, some localized flooding will be threats, but I also think we will not be able to rule out an isolated tornado threat. We've got these storms arriving late Wednesday evening again with that wind and hail threat, but I think that tornado threat needs to continue to be monitored because we'll probably be in a boat where we will be able to rule out one or two weak and brief tornadoes. So we've got to keep that in mind. Localized flooding also a concern with some of that heavy rain. Looking ahead to Easter, it's going to be excellent, beautiful, breezy, warm, 78 degrees and mostly sunny. Uh, again, that storm threat is going to be overnight Wednesday. A couple of showers linger on Thursday with cooler 50s. We'll have a cool day on Friday, but then temperatures warm back up for the holiday weekend. Jeremy Kelly. Might do a show today. We don't know. Feel, <laughs> feeling, feeling cute. Feeling like we just got caught on our phones. <laughs> we were. At least I'm sad to say we did not pay attention one bit because we were trying to figure well, out. Well, we know the weekend's good. Yeah. The we're... weekend's good, and that's what we're looking forward to. Amen. Okay. I'm so sorry you mad at us, Lisa. <laughs> uh, no, it's, I just don't ask me questions tomorrow. Oh, be, sh <laughs> Will we not get another update today? I think we will. We'll yes. pay attention, we'll pay attention. later. Okay. We were feeling cute and editing our photo for the social media. <laughs> Have you ever posted feeling cute? Might no. do the weather? I don't know. No, because I always want to do the weather. I always know. Oh. She loves her job. She is so good at her job. But she could do one, at least that says feeling yeah. cute. Might well, rain today. Hey, I listen, don't know. we'll take a picture. I do know, though. Oh, you do know. You don't know. <laughs> I do. <laughs> well, okay, but, but doesn't it change sometimes? I, yeah, sure. It depends <laughs> on the situation. Hey, what you could do is might rain uh, n next Monday. I don't know. Uh, but see, that was not good for meteorologists <laughs> to say. <laughs> but it's just fun. It's all in good fun. Right? right. She's like, guys, be serious. Weather is very serious. And it is. It, it is. is. I'm just so happy for that excellent Sunday. Yeah, it's going to be yeah. beautiful. That looks good. <laughs> all Are right. you going to be able to hide your own Easter eggs? <laughs> yes. Okay. And I, I will eat them. Hard boiled. I love them, them. I love them, too. You Thanks, Alisa Rafa. Thank you. Raffa. You're Thank you. <laughs> all right. Coming up, just a few hours left to enter the Chateau's 22nd anniversary giveaway. Yes. More on that right mm -hmm. after this, because we're feeling cute. Might take a commercial. <laughs> I don't know. I think we're going to. We have to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>